we've got the basics of right triangles down. Now let's talk about two special right triangles that you'll see on the ACT. The 45, 45, 90, and the 30, 60, 90 triangles. You'll need to memorize the angles and side length relationships of these triangles for the test. Let's start with the 45, 45, 90 triangle. In this triangle, the sides opposite the 45 degree angles are the same and each has a length of x. The hypotenuse, which is opposite the 90 degree angle, has a length of x times the square root of 2. Here's a heads up. This triangle is also referred to as an isosceles right triangle. Isosceles means that two of the sides are equal. Since it also has a 90 degree angle, it's a right triangle. Pretty appropriate name, huh? Now, let's talk about the 30-60-90 triangle. In a 30-60-90 triangle, the side length opposite the 30 degree angle is x. The side length opposite the 60 degree angle is x times the square root of 3. The length of the hypotenuse that's opposite the 90 degree angle is 2 times x. How does this help us? Let's say we have a 30-60-90 triangle, and we know that the side opposite the 30 degree angle has a length of 4. That means the side opposite the 60 degree angle has a length of 4 times the square root of 3, and the hypotenuse opposite the right angle, 2x, equals 8. Sometimes, the solution to an ACT problem will be found in turning an equilateral triangle into two 30-60-90 triangles by dropping an altitude. Ta-da! Within this equilateral triangle, we have two 30-60-90 triangles. Let's solve some ACT problems using these special triangles. First, we'll solve a problem involving a 45-45-90 triangle. In square ABCD, shown below, diagonal BD has a length of 2 inches. In inches, what is the length of each side? Our answer choices are A, 1, B, the square root of 2, C, 2, D, 2 times the square root of 2, and E, 4. Let's put the information that we've been given into the drawing. First, we're told that this shape is a square. So let's label all the sides as equal. And we'll label B, D as 2. We're looking for the length of one of the sides. Let's put an X next to a side to remind ourselves what we're solving for. Looking out for 45, 45, 90 triangles in squares, we can see two 45, 45, 90 triangles in this figure. Since diagonal B, D is 2, that means that in our 45, 45, 90 triangle, the hypotenuse is 2. Remember the rules for the 45, 45, 90 triangle we just talked about? The length of each leg is x, and the length of the hypotenuse is x times the square root of 2. In the 45, 45, 90 triangle in this problem, the x times the square root of 2 side equals 2. Now we can find the length of each leg by solving for x. Since x times the square root of 2 equals 2, we can divide each side of the equation by the square root of 2 to get x equals 2 over the square root of 2. We could rationalize this fraction, but it's more error-free to get a numerical value using our calculator and match it with the answer choices. Using our calculator, we divide 2 by the square root of 2 and find that x equals about 1.414. Let's write that in. Now, let's put that to the left of the answer choices to keep track of it and find out which answer choice is also 1.414. Obviously, answer choices A, C, and E aren't correct because they're integers, so we'll cross them out. When we put choice D into our calculator, we find that 2 times the square root of 2 equals about 2.828. That's not right, so we'll cross it out. But choice B, the square root of 2, also equals about 1.414. That's the right answer. In the last example, we used the 45-45-90 triangle hanging out inside a square to solve the problem. For the next question, we'll need to be on the lookout for 30-60-90 triangles hiding inside equilateral triangles. In the following figure, AB equals BC equals AC equals 6 inches, and BD bisects angle ABC. In inches, what is the length of BD? Our answer choices are A, 3, B, 3 times the square root of 2, C, 3 times the square root of 3, D, 6, and E, 6 times the square root of 3. To keep track of the information, we'll underline the facts, circle the keywords, and label the answer choices. Let's put the fact that AB equals BC equals AC into the drawing. Let's also put in the fact that all sides are 6. Since all three sides are equal, we know ABC is an equilateral triangle, which means all three angles are 60 degrees. The question tells us that BD bisects angle ABC, which means that it cuts angle ABC in half. 
Since angle ABC is 60 degrees, angle ABD is 30 degrees, and angle CBD is 30 degrees. That means that triangle DBC is a 30-60-90 triangle. Let's write in the formula for this type of triangle. Side BC is the hypotenuse of this 30-60-90 triangle, and the hypotenuse of a 30-60-90 triangle always equals 2x. In this case, 2x equals 6, which means x equals 3. That means the x times the square root of 3 side equals 3 times the square root of 3. So the length of BD equals 3 times the square root of 3. Looks like answer choice C is the correct answer. Here's a gold star for all your hard work. Now that you've learned about the 30-60-90 triangle and the 45-45-90 triangle, you'll start seeing them in all sorts of places. They are sneaky beasts lurking in the shadows of unsuspecting shapes. It turns out that's a good thing, because as soon as you find them, you can use them to quickly solve problems. Remember, the first step is to memorize these special triangles so they never sneak by you.